welcome to my youtube channel today we'll be considering the cosine rule the cosine rule if you remember in our last video we discussed about the sine rule but in this video we'll be looking at the cosine rule when we talk about the cosine rule it has a formula so as you can see on the screen the cosine rule is used given when you are given two sides and the included angle you can use the cosine rule or when all three sides of that triangle is given you can use the cosine rule it is very simple it is as easy as that now when you look at what we have on the screen you will see that we have a square equals b square plus c square minus 2bc cos a that is when you have a as your unknown as the case may be or it can be b square equals a square plus c square minus 2ac cos b you will discover there is a trend as we journey through this formula or we can have c square equals a square plus b square minus 2ab cos c you can see that we are following a trend you will discover that the letter that starts is what end this is small letter a and this is capital letter a so also this is small letter b and this is capital letter d at the same time this is small letter c and this is capital letter c you can see we are following a trend so you'll be able to use this formula whenever two sides and the included angle are given or whenever all the three sides are given that is when you'll be able to make use of cosine rule if you have not seen our last video on sine rule please kindly check this youtube channel i want us to take note of this note that in each variation of the cosine rule we are referring to this in each of this variation of the cosine rule the pattern starts and end with the same letter the pattern starts and ends with the same letter if you look at this it starts with a and ends with a this is small letter a this is capital letter a it starts with b and this one also ends with b if you look at this it starts with c and it ends with c so in each of these variation that is discussed above the, because this is the formula whenever you are using cosine rule, this is what you are going to use how are you going to know if you are to use cosine rule two sides and the included angle will be given or all the three sides will be given look at this the sides are the a b and c of a triangle and this is the angle the sides can be b a c and this is the angle the side can be c a b and this is the angle so whenever two sides and the included angle is given or all the three sides are given you will make use of cosine rule for that problem so go through this again in each of the variation of the cosine rule the pattern starts and ends with the same letter in our next video we'll be looking at some example kindly stay glued to this channel we'll look at some example and we'll be applying this formula to some of those example to see how the application look like if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel kindly do so my simple math kindly press the notification button so that you can always get notification from us whenever we post a new video thank you